So I fought Thiago Alves in Brazil, right? So yeah. after uh, one of my coaches, well, Liborio, he opened the American top team. Mm -hmm. So at one point the guys called me, he's like, oh, Thiago wants to join American top team. So, so they talked to me, I said, man, I have no problem. The kid was a nice guy, or just, um, uh, we just fought each other, you know what I mean? The ATT so, in Florida? In Florida. So he joined ATT and I'm a good friend with uh, Dan Lambert, the owner, right? So what happened uh, when he signed to fight George, Dan Lambert called me. And he said, because uh, he knew George was training with me. So he asked me if I could uh, could coach uh, Thiago against George. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Did you? Of course I did. <laughs> okay, good. So you went to Florida for the Thiago's camp? Yeah, so I went to Florida and um, I spent out uh, the one week and then I had to go to Brazil because my father passed away. So three weeks before the fight, I went there for another two weeks. But then Thiago is asking me to stay another week. And on the last, last day of camp, he's like, man, let's go in my corner. So I said, okay, let's go. So UFC 100, I was uh, with Thiago against the GSP. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Was that was that like hard for you, or it was all good with GSP? He left the gym, right? So yeah, it's, it's business. Fair game. Yeah, business. Yeah, pure yeah, business. Yeah. No, uh, no emotions attached. No, of course. That fight went to the decision, if I if I remember well. Eh? That fight went to decision, and and uh, George blame on me to not finish him. <laughs> So actually, he did a very good publicity, you know, because all the time yeah. was in the radio. He was talking about me. So yeah. it was the time I had the most students at the gym. <laughs>